So I kind of feel bad now because I didn't really like the product, but you know, it's... Hey guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to a new video and um, I'm back with another review. This review has been kind of delayed for like the entire year. I got this like early this year, yet I'm only doing it now and it's like already July. Um, how should I say this? Um, there was one product that I was missing out of the series so I've waited and waited until I got the opportunity to finally get my hands on it and it's the Etude House Play 101 sticks. Um, the multicolor ones, I got this in January but it was this Play 101 jewel stick that took me forever to get. Whenever I was trying to look for it, it was like sold out so yeah, I I really didn't want to do this review without this product because I felt like this product was the highlight of the actual series, I guess. And um, yeah, my brother just came back from the Philippines because he goes there back and forth. Um, and I asked him to pick this up for me because I heard they had a sale. And um, yeah, perfect timing. A Trude House did release new shades and colors from this collection. So although I'm like, outdated with the original Play 101 sticks and I do have the original ones um, I guess the timing is still okay for me to do so because there are new colors now so I feel like right now is like the only chance where I can like actually post this review so let's just get straight into it I'll start with the foundation stick this is shade number four this is the darkest out of the foundation play 101 stick colors from the original line it settles down quite nicely as you kind of let it set after a few minutes of application this is super creamy the formula itself like as it claims and it blends flawlessly when you're using the right brush the brush I use for this is the real techniques um, expert expert brush in terms of its coverage I must say it's actually pretty decent because for me, I like to conceal underneath my foundation first. So um, today I didn't use any concealer underneath. I just went straight for the foundation stick and a little amount goes a long way. So I try not to apply too much, just really focus it on the inner parts of my face and blend it out. Next, I did use the bronzing shade, which is number 11 and this might seem like it doesn't really make a big difference, but against the foundation shade, it just adds a more kind of deeper um, shading or contouring effect. So, you know, putting it around the perimeter of my face just really adds that dimension and shadow. The shading might actually seem like it matches me a lot more than the actual foundation shade. Okay, I should have done this earlier, but <laughs> here is the foundation shade. This is number four. As you can see, it does look light on me and my face does kind of look quite bright, but I kind of like balance it out with the bronzing or the shading shade here, which is number, number 11. And I mean, the combination works great together. If I really need to mix these two, like let's say like during summertime, then I definitely would mix these two and that would create a perfect balance for my actual shade or skin tone. The coverage is actually really good. Um, I mean, it's not high coverage or full, full coverage, but it's like medium to, I guess, buildable full. This is now the blush. This is in shade number 12. It's more of a pink coral blush. So that's how it looks like. There in the top, it's quite bright. But then again, as a blush and a cream blush, I kind of like that, you know, more pink, orange um, tone to it. So I actually like the shade of the blush and that's how it looks like from one swipe. Now onto the highlighters. Um, I got both because I just wanted to try it out. Honestly, I know pink highlighters don't really suit me because I do have redness on my cheeks, um, but... I don't know, I just really like pink and rose gold, so I decided to try it out. It might be hard to tell, but there it is. Um, it is very pink, but there are little hints of like gold flecks um, or gold shimmer to it as the highlight and 
I think this just works nicely if you're actually using the blush so I would apply the blush here in the inner parts of my face and just put it in the outer part and kind of blend it together but if I just wanted a really I guess a regular highlight that just suits my complexion itself I would use the, the shade number 10 which is pretty much the gold yellow highlight tone here and there you go yellow tone definitely looks a lot more better on my complexion and yeah I mean in terms of it's like highlight it's not like BAM in your face it's just pretty regular and it's a cream formula so you can easily blend it out and control the amount of the highlight that you want um, but for me because I do like to use this brush to avoid any streaking or caking um, it just creates this very subtle highlight as you can see I hope these guys can see right now this is not shine it's the highlight <laughs> um, but yeah that's how it looks like so it looks okay even when it's blended out quite a lot so you still get that hint of glow and dewiness but you know that's the multi color sticks but the product I've been waiting the most which is the um, stick contouring jewel I actually like this a lot more and I know I only got this recently but out of the entire collection I do like this a lot more so it's kind of like worth the wait this is more on the red side like the red tone I must say um, it's kind of red against my skin tone but I do like this color a lot I like how they're both matte so it's easier I know in the I know they released a new shade of this stick jewel and it kind of has more of a satin kind of um, shade like the highlighting shade is a little bit more shimmery but this is matte and this almost looks white against my complexion but it's a very light fair highlighting um, matte shade for the blending it's not as creamy as the um, multicolor sticks but it's still creamy I don't know if the new formula or the new shades are any better than this but you know this is the original line so I'm not too fond of it but the stick is really really nice so I did use a highlighting stick as my concealer just to kind of kind of hide out the dark circles even though it's not really completely concealed the way I like it to and I applied it onto my nose bridge and a little bit on the chin no I didn't I think it was just the nose the forehead and the under eyes and the shading um, contouring shade just a little bit more um, onto the hollows of my cheeks just to really make my non-existing cheekbones pop and um, I actually really like this a lot and Ever since my brother came back, I've just been using this and I really, really do enjoy it. Um, so I guess on that side, out of the original um, Play 101 stick colors, I only like the contouring stick jewel. Right now, I don't have any primer or setting powder on because I wanted to show you guys it. I wanted to show you guys how it looks like on bare skin. It leaves finger marks it's just too creamy that its longevity isn't that great with this kind of product regardless of dry skin and um, you know combination or oily skin I think a primer would work best right now it's been an hour since I've had this on and it's still looking okay um, but I know later I'm not going to like it because I've tried this before I mean I've had it for like the entire year now but um, I just it just doesn't work well on my skin unfortunately with this kind of product regardless of dry skin and um, you know combination or oily skin I think a primer would work best I could experiment and try out which primer works best with this that could help hide the pores and keep the longevity of the product itself but for now just using the product on its own on my skin type it doesn't really work so um, I just wanted to let you guys know about that and um, because it is a cream formula it does settle into fine lines like here 
I don't know if you guys can see, but in my under eye, I have fine lines and it does settle in there. In the eyelids especially, that's where it likes to crease and my eyelids, like my double eyelids are, the folds are quite thick as well, so it really sinks in. I guess the good points about this is that it's so easy to use and you can do your makeup so quickly with this. Like just put a few streaks of foundation, um, you know, a little circle of blush, um, a little bit of highlight, a stroke or two, and just blend it all out and you're done. That's the whole point, like with cream stick foundations and all that, they're so easy to use. You can never really go wrong with them, but in terms of the formula, the longevity, and how it works with my skin type, it's just not incorporating, so I don't really like it. I know these guys aren't probably too impressed about it, but regardless, I hope these guys enjoyed this because, um, yeah, this was a very interesting review. So hopefully these guys enjoyed this video and I'll see these guys next time.